Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is your friendly neighborhood Oxhorn, and this episode is all about elevators, the new elevators that came with Contraptions Workshop. Now, I've seen a lot of confusion online about elevators, and so I want to dispel a few things really quickly. Elevators come in three different forms. A two-floor elevator, like that one, a three-floor elevator, one, two, three, like that one, and a four-floor elevator, one, two, three, four, like that one. Now, I, want, I set up a couple of different scenarios to try and explain how they work. The, the great problem with elevators is that they only work well with the barn tile set from Far Harbor and the workshop slash greenhouse tile set from Contraptions Workshop, and I'll show you why. You see here on this floor, this is floor one. I've got walls from the three other different tile sets, the concrete wall that came with Wasteland Workshop, the regular shack wall and the regular metal wall that came with vanilla Fallout 4. And you see that there's a huge gap between the top of the wall and the ceiling, the beginning of the next floor. That's because the internal height restriction for the elevator is set to specifically synchronize with the taller walls that came with Contraptions Workshop and Far Harbor. So if you're gonna be using the elevators with your buildings, you're gonna have to use those two tile sets and not the old ones. But if you do, it's pretty f uh, straightforward. The um, elevators snap to floors. This is just your regular concrete floor that came with the vanilla Fallout 4. And then you can call the elevator from the bottom floor, just like you would any other elevator by clicking the button. Then you can choose which floor you want to go to. So I'm gonna to go to floor two, and it brings me up to floor two. Uh, so this is really cool. So as you can see, I'm using the greenhouse tiles here, and it does reach the top, and it does feel kind of flushed out and flushed in. Now you can connect elevators to be side by side like I've done here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call this platform down from flo floor three so that it can take me up all the way to floor three. <clears throat> now there is a, a one drawback to, to these and that that's that the roof of the elevator is flush with the seam of the wall, right? And the reason that this is a problem is because what you may want to do is build your wall and then start building a roof, but the elevator gets in the way of that. So here I am uh, with the workshop. So this is the, uh, the warehouse workshop tile set. And if I try to build a roof over, oh, it does work. The slanted roof works, but the straight roof does not, which I tried earlier. See how that doesn't go through with it? Um, and that's what I tried here. So this is the flat roof from the workshop tile set and I tried to put another one on top of it and it didn't snap. So if you want to build a roof over your elevator, you are gonna have to use the uh, slanted uh, piece because otherwise it's gonna clip with it. Now what you could, you could do if you really wanna use the flat roof is you could build an extension onto the walls just slightly to push them up a little bit and then build a flat roof over that. So those are the, uh, uh, the two and three floor versions. This is the four floor version. And I had a lot of problems with this and I don't know why, maybe you guys can help me out. But when I tried to snap this to a base, it didn't work. Um, so I, I thought it might have something to do with the, the build height restriction of Spectacle Island. So I brought my this I brought this one all the way down to the sea, which is the lowest level, and it still would not snap to a platform. Now once so what I basically did, and I'll show you what I did, is I set down a concrete foundation block right there. Yeah. There you can see my concrete foundation block. And once it was there, I just sort of set the elevator on top of it because it would not snap to it. And I'm not sure why. But once I had it there, these floors did snap to it, right? So uh, let's get this working. To get it working, we're gonna have to give it some power. So let's go ahead and power up the elevator. To do so, just hover over it and connect it to your power source. And now it works. So I want you to notice one thing about the elevator. It's closed on two sides and it's open on two sides. So every single elevator is gonna have two points of entry. You could use this to put it in the middle of your structure so that you can walk in on one side and walk out on the other side. Or, or you could wall off one of the sides if you want. So let's go ahead and go to floor four. 
two, three, four. And there you go. That is the four floor elevator. And as you can see, the floorboards snap to this level precisely. So of course my first thought when I thought about elevators was uh, being able to finally build an elevator at Grey Garden or at Finch Farm to give you access to the overpass. So I built this little thing and I powered it up. Now, I wanna talk about this a little bit. I mean, even over here, I still was not able to snap this elevator to a platform. I tried to snap it to this platform where my guard towers are positioned and it wouldn't snap. But um, the two-story and th three-story versions did snap. And I know it's not a height restriction because this settlement has a very tall build height. So I'm not sure why the four-floor elevator doesn't snap, but it just doesn't, even though objects do snap to it. Um, so here we go. Let's go to floor four. And there we are, I was able to snap this platform to the bottom of it, and if you finagle things just right, it's just tall enough to get you to the overpass here at Grey Garden. And then you can build a settlement up here amongst all this lovely filth. So, pretty cool. Let's go back down. You could probably encase this in walls, maybe, and maybe just make a little elevator shaft that goes up to the overpass. So I'm pretty excited about that. Thank you, Bethesda, for elevators. That is how they work. They come completely lit, so once you hook it up to electricity, you don't have to worry about lighting it. Um, and, uh, and that's all there is to it. Pretty straightforward and simple. I love them, even though they are restricted by only being able to be used with the farm and warehouse tile sets. Um, you know what? I still think they're going to be useful, and I'll probably include them in my future settlement builds, uh, especially when I go back and revise the old ones like... Grey Garden. Grey Garden needs a touch-up, so I have some work to do here. Anyway, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comments in the comment section below. What do you think about elevators? Are they cool? Are they just a gimmick? Do you think they're too hard to work with? Or do you wish that they were uh, more flexible, that you could use them with different tile sets? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for subscribing. Your subscriptions keep this channel alive, and I will see you next time.